What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a Magnazone Rain team to use on the ranked double ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. But this team right here was made by Bruno and his community. Huge shout out to him if you guys want the Poke Pace or want to check out this team a little bit more in depth, make sure you head over to his channel. Link will be down in the description below. But Magnazone is the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview. Haven't really used this Pokemon too much, but I always have a blast whenever I use it. It's got analytic as its ability and rocking the choice specs as its item. It's got thunder to hit 100% of the time in the rain, bolt switch to pivot out, and then we got terror blast with the flying terror type and flash cannon for a stat move. Our rain setter is in the second slot with Politoed. This Pokemon I absolutely love. Its design's hilarious and it's just such a good Pokemon in ranked doubles. It's got Drizzle with the citrus berry, rocking muddy water, icy wind for speed control, encore, and protect. In our third slot, we got Tornadus, who's another great Pokemon to set the rain and grant speed control for the team. It's got Prankster with the Cobra Cloak, Bleakwind Storm, Tailwind, Rain Dance, and Taunt. In our fourth slot, we got not the Water Urshfu, which is kind of weird. We got the Dark and Fighting Urshfu. Most of the times when you're rocking the rain team, you really want to rock out with the Water Urshfu, but this one seems like it's going to work just fine. It really does. It's got Unseen Fist with the Choice Band as an item, Rock and Sucker Punch, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, and Poison Jab with the Poison Terror type. Fist Slot is going to be our Pokemon that really thrives in the rain and is going to be Swift Swim Basque Legion. It's got Mystic Water as an item to make its water moves do more damage with Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, Last Respects, and Protect. In our final slot, we got Rillaboom right here. Rillaboom is so strong ever since it's been revamped in Regulation E. It's got Grassy Surge, Assault Vest as item, Rocking Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, Stomping Cantrum, and Fake Out. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? We're going to have to go to that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Magnezone Rain team. First match on its way, and it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a weather war here. They got Tyranitar to set the Sandstorm, and we have Politoed to set the Rain. Also, we have Tornadus, who's going to be a great option for us to set the Rain. So, up against this team, I think Tornadus is going to be a perfect lead, because we can set the Rain if need be. And on top of that, we can just uh, grant some speed control for the squad. So, I'm going to end up leading him. They also have Mimikyu, Heatran, Ogre Pond, Thunderous, and Landorus. So, I think other Pokemon that could be good would be like a Pokemon like Urshifu. And on top of that, maybe like Rain Pokemon. So I could go Tornadus, and I could also go in with Basket Legion, which wouldn't be bad. I could go like maybe Basket Legion, Urshifu, and Magnezone. Or maybe Rillaboom instead, because Rillaboom's pretty solid here, especially with a lot of different things. So actually, that's something I really like. That is something I definitely really like. So yeah, going into Basket Legion is going to be pretty solid for us. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, they do have Intimidate with Landers, which could be maybe a tad bit of a problem. Maybe though I just want to lead like Urshifu instead. I kind of don't want to lead Basket Legion, to be honest with you. I don't want to lead. I think I'd rather lead Urshifu and keep it like that. Choice ban Urshifu, because if they do Intimidate me here turn one, I can just choice into Wicked Blow and do some big time damage. So. I can get down with that. So we're not going to have Politoed in the back end. Our main weather control Pokemon is going to be Tornadus, which I don't really mind. I think it's a great Pokemon for weather control regardless. Hence the reason why you don't see too many Politoes, because if you want to set the rain, you're pretty much just running on Tornadus, right? Pranks or Tornadus can do a lot of weather. The Thunders and Landers come down here. Not too bad. There's the Intimidate. And I think we'll be fine with this. I do think we'll be fine. Let's all set this Tailwind up. Um... I want to set the rain as well. Definitely want the tail went out and about. And maybe just choice and wicked blow. Actually, what's your terror type? What is your terror type? Steel. We could go into a steel terror. We could go into a steel terror, which wouldn't be bad. Steel terror really wouldn't be bad. Now, I'm actually thinking of doing that. I'm thinking of just dropping the steel terror. Just so we can get some turns off. I do like the flying type there. And you know what? No, we're not going to waste our terror on Tornadus. We'll pop the Tailwind. I'm just going to go into Wicked Blow. I'm going to throw it into the Lander slot. So if I had to guess, Landers is probably Choice Scarf, which is a little scary. And he's going to end up taunting me after that. So that's not too bad. I kind of want to swap my Tornadus and save it for later after this. I'll take that all day. Wicked Blow is going to come out here. This might just KO. 
And it does. Beautiful turn one. I'll take that turn one all day. I'll take it all day. We get the Tailwind off. We pick up a KO. Both our Pokemon stay at full HP. Can't really go wrong with that. So I can't Rain Dance yet. Now it's going to come out Heatran. And I, again, I think at this point we want to swap to an items out here. Just in case they have Weather in the back end. There's really Bleak Wind Storm's not going to do much up against these guys. But since we were taunted, I think now's a good turn to actually swap. The other question is, who do we swap into? We could swap into Rillaboom, but if he's going for a fire move, which is probably most likely, that could do me dirty. So maybe just going into Basic Legion is going to be the play. So I'm going to swap into Basic Legion. I'm going to go into a Wicked Blow here, and who should I attack? I again think Heatran is the bigger threat. But Thunders is looking like a little bit of a problem. He's more of just a support Thunder, so you know what? I'm going to target down Heatran. I'm going to target down the Heatran. So I will swap the Tornadus, bring that back, just in case they have t in the back end. Which it could look like that. And we'll see what they want to do here. They're going to end up Terrasalizing. Probably in straight grass, thinking they're going for a close combat here. They end up going into Fairy. Of course you got a Fairy Terror type. That's actually a little wild. Fairy Terror type rocking on the Heatran. Should have went after the Thunders. The Wicked Blow is not going to do any crazy damage. So there's that. We get the guaranteed crit. And he's going to go into a Wild Blue Storm. Which is... Oh, that's so cool. That's rough. That's real rough. Especially with the Paralyzer. And Heat Wave might kill us. No, we should survive. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe we should have just played through the weather. To be honest with you guys. Maybe just should have played through it. But we still have a few turns left in Tailwind. Um, I think at this point we just wave crash and sacrifice ourselves. And we just Wicked Blow into the Thunder Sap. Yeah, it's going to be my play. So Wicked Blow comes out here. It's KOing, yo. This thing's hitting like a truck. He's hitting like a truck. He's hitting like a truck right now. And basically you can't move because it's paralyzed. It's lovely. Lovely. So we lose that turn. And Heat Wave's gonna double connect. So it comes down to a 2v2. We still have Thunders. If they wanna bring out Weather, we can just change that up right away. And on top of that, we will have our lovely Will the back end. So I'm actually kinda hoping it's Titar. I'm actually kinda hoping it is Titar. But at that point, I can just terrestrialize my my Rillaboom here into a good fire type, which is actually really perfect up against E Train. So I get back out of the Tornadus, thinking that they have T-Tar in the back end. Kind of having fingers crossed for this, right? And I'll also get out Rillaboom. Love a little Pokemon. And they're going to bring out Ogre Pond. So, wow, we didn't even need to swap our... We didn't even need to swap our boy. So, we have a little bit of a problem here, right? A little bit of a problem. I mean, I can fake out you and Terrasalize next turn. I think that's our best bet. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna save my terror. Because the problem with Terrasalize and Rillaboom is if we Terrasalize in the fire, then Ogre Pond can knock us out with a uh, with a water move. But if we stay this typing right here, then he could just rip into me with a heat wave. So I'm gonna fake out the uh, the heat trend here. I'm gonna look just to drop a nice little bleak wind storm. But another thing is if he terrasalizes in the straight water. Actually, no, they already used terror, so that's fine. The Blink Storm should be able to do a nice chunk of damage here. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's lovely. That's lovely. Ivy Kudro coming out here. Can you soak this? You can. That's, that's money. That's money. Heatran's going to flinch here. And I believe we still have a lot of speed here. I think now's a good turn to actually just Terrasalize. I think now's a great turn to Terrasalize. Tailwind's gone. I think we just Terrasalize in the fire, and we go for Grass Guy, because Grass Guy will KO. So I'll do that, and on top of that, I will drop another Bleak Wind Storm. Tornado should still be fastest on the field. And if Ogre Pond Spiky Shields, that's not that big of a deal, because, again, we're Terrasalizing, and we can soak up pretty much whatever Heatran wants to wants to throw at our way. So this is a solid first match. I kind of played up against more so the Tyranitar than anything, and I ended up not even bringing Tyranitar, so... That one's on me. We should have just kind of kept our Tornados in their turn one and thrived out there. Instead of swapping in the Basic Legion. But out comes the Spike Shield, which isn't that big of a deal. Like I said, Thrasalize is really going to help us out. And he's just going to protect Heatran. So he just wants some HP back. 
Okay. All right, I understand. I understand. I do still think Grassy Glide can KO next turn. But that's totally fine because I'm just gonna keep spamming Grassy Glide into that Ogre Pond slot, looking to KO it, because I cannot allow it to get off an Ivy Cudgel. Simply cannot allow that. I cannot allow that. I think Grassy Glide will KO regardless. Stab in the Grassy Train for like the one point, what is it, 1.5 times boost? Or is it 1.3? It's somewhere around there, but it's just a massive boost with them. That's why Roll Boom is just so powerful with these grass moves. So I'm gonna throw another Grass Glide. I'm just gonna throw another Bleak Wind Storm out there. I really like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. Now it comes to Grass Glide. It does not KO. Bleak Wind Storm, I need you landing. Beautiful, lovely, perfect. Just perfect. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, because I had a feeling, I was like, yo, if Bleak Wind Storm misses and we lose this game, I'm going to be so upset. But now comes that, Earth Power is going to get flying here. We soak no problem, and that pretty much wraps it up, right? Because we can eat up another Earth Power. I can hit this thing hard with Grassy Guide, or even Woodhammer. He trying might just protect you, get back some HP. Is an option. Definitely is an option. Definitely is an option. I'll go for Woodhammer here, and... Let's go for Bleak Storm. I think he does protect anyway. Yeah. I think he does protect, which he does indeed. So the real question is, is Roll Boom faster than him? Do I go, do I just stick with Grassy God here? I mean, it really doesn't matter. Like I said, we can eat up another Earth Power, no problem. So Heatran's gonna get little leftovers, a little bit of uh, Grassy Terrain HP. I believe the terrain might end here, which I would not like. No, we still got another turn. So Woodhammer's still getting that boost. We're going to go for Woodhammer. We're going to spam that Bleak Wind Storm. And look to just dump on this guy. Actually, this could be a little tough for us if... Oh, we're missing Bleak Wind Storm. Oh, no. Woodhammer, can you just KO? Thank you. All right, cool. Cool. I was going to say, if Heatran survives and we take recoil and then Earth Power KOs us... That could have been a problem, but no, it worked out perfectly. We took him out with a hammer, 1-0 to get this video started. We're sitting at 1-0, would love to go 2-0. Hopping into our second match, and for some reason, we're going up against Tyranitar yet again. And they also have Torkoal, so they have two ways of controlling weather. We also have two ways of controlling weather with Polytoad and Tornadus. We're definitely going to be bringing one of them in to try to get that weather control. But they also have Furigraph to set Trick Room on this team. And then they have a crazy strong physical attacking combo with Shen Pao, Dragonite, Titar, and Ogre Pond. So they can really just go Shen Pao with any of those three and really get thriving. So how should I play this one? I think Tornadus is another great Pokemon. That's right. Tornadus is very, very solid. I could just set Rain right off the rip. Or I could more so go into Polytoad. But the reason I'd like Tornadus is because, obviously, the Tailwind. Just gonna be so well for us, so. Could maybe just go Polytoad instead. I'm thinking of just going, like, maybe Rollaboom. And. Maybe Basket Legion. I think we try to get the rain combo going here. I really do. I think we just get it all rainy here, right? Yeah, let's just bring out the rain squad. We got the three rain squad Pokemon. If we lose this one, we lose it. It's no big deal, but just want to try to get out this team and showcase it really well. But you guys should have seen it last night. So I was sitting here in my normal spot right here late at night. It was like 1130. Me and my buddy, we were playing Fortnite. And me and this buddy were in a fantasy league together. And we needed Evan McPherson, the Cincinnati Bengals kicker, to get. I think it was like, what was it? It was like seven more points to put us into the playoffs. And we were like, oh my god, we're out of it. He ends up hitting a 50-yard field goal with five minutes left in the fourth. And then the game goes to overtime and he hits game-winning field goal to send me and my buddy to the playoffs. It was electric. It was electric. We were just like, hold up. We're not playing another Fortnite match, so this game's over. He hit the field goal. We're like, bang! We went nuts. It was electric. It was electric. But they ended up leading Ogre Pond. And it was at Frigraph. And that's totally fine. I mean, I don't mind that too much. I think we could, should just go into like this. And maybe just protect you. Actually, I think we just double down into Frigoraph. Just try to get rid of this thing. He might spike a shield. And now he's, he's going for Woodhammer. I know I should have just protected the Basket Legion. So Woodhammer comes out here. I'm a little distracted right now. And Woodhammer's going to come out from my slot. He's just going to probably pop a trick right? 
Maybe I should have just aqua jet it. Actually, I couldn't have aqua jet it. Of course, this thing has citrus berry, and now things are looking a bit scary. Things are definitely looking a bit scary. But if he does pop a trick room, which he does right here, I think now's a solid turn just to bring out. Bring out, what's it called? Magnuson. Yeah, instead of Polyton, because they have weather. They do have weather. I could swap Brillaboom for weather. But it's time to start attacking, right? It's definitely time to just start attacking. I'm gonna go Woodhammer. I'm just gonna look to KO the Ogre Pond slot here. I could swap it. Um, I could go Flash Cannon instead. I could also Terrasalize and go Flying. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Ogre Pond's looking, looking a little annoying, eh? I'm just gonna go for Stop Attachment just in case they want to swap it in Torkoal. And you know what? I'm gonna double down in this slot. I'm gonna double down in this slot. Bruh. Every time I double down into a slot. Every time. Every time. Every single time. And I'm going for a bulldozer. though. He's gonna slow us down, though. That's actually not bad within Trick Room. I'll take the speed drop. But I think that's something they want to do. I really do believe that's something that they want to do. I'm gonna double down to that Ogre Pound slot. It really looks like they want to swap into maybe like Torkoal, Bulldoze, Proc Weakness Policy, and just get Thrive in there. So I'm just gonna attack that slot. I'm gonna try to drop a Thunder in that slot, to be honest with you guys. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. So I'll go Stomping Tantrum here again. And I'm gonna try to drop a Thunder in that slot. Oh, I'm choice specking the Flash Cannon now. Good old choice specs. I'll still dump it down that slot. I'll still do it. I want that Ogre Pond out of here. I want it going. I want it going. I want it out of here. I want to eventually swap my Magnezoom. So this is swap into this slot. Is this going to be the Torkoal? They end up swapping Frigga Wrap and out comes Torkoal. So we have Polyto in the back end. And follow me comes out here. Okay, so he just wants to protect the Torkoal. The flash cannon is gonna fire. Flash cannon actually my KO, and it does, which is massive, because that means stopping catch is gonna slide over. It's gonna hit up on the torque, which is huge. Nice. Stopping catch coming out here. How much damage is doing? Nice chunk of damage. Almost half. Almost half. So we get that cooking. Magnezone's going up to close to full HP. Robum keeps constantly getting some HP back as well. And depending on who they throw out here, we might want to swap Magnezone. It really depends. So they end up throwing out Dragon. Okay. So Dragon Knight comes out here. I think just a nice Terra is not bad for us here. I could Terrasalize and just start attacking. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And the reason I want Terra is because I don't really want to be weak to these moves, right? Flying moves. Fire moves. And then just swap and take Weather Control and reset Magnus and choice spec. I'm about it. I'm about it. So we lost our what's called right off the rip, our basketball region. Kind of because I was talking about fantasy football, I get distracted with that. <laughs> but uh, that, now we bring out Cotton Candy Polythoon. And it starts raining. We take this weather. This weather's ours. And we tear it in the fire. We, we really want Rillaboom on here as long as possible. I like Rillaboom. Rillaboom's just so good. So we get that beautiful flying terror out here. He might have Stopping Cantrum or Earth Power with Purple, which is a little bit of a threat. And yeah, there's an Earth Power. And Stopping Tantrum's able to fly here, too. Beautiful. It's a big time damage. We love it. We love the damage output. Outrage coming out here. That might KO us. Yeah, so we just wasted our Terra. Kinda hurts, but I don't I don't mind it. With the Pokemon that we have, it's actually pretty solid for us. Outrage is looking terrifying though. No kizzy. No kizzy. Outrage is looking terrifying. So now I get to bring out Magnezone. I get he has Earth Power, but we should be able to soak that. We should be able to soak that. And what I'm really thinking of doing is just dropping a Thunder here. And Icy Wind. And the reason I want an Icy Wind is, one, it's going to be two times super effective on him. And on top of that, how many turns left in Trick Room? 
one. So slowing them down is going to be really good. Actually, that might make him go first. So just go for Muddy Water instead. Let me see Polytoon's speed compared to Magneton. So he's going to go first because I want to take out multi skill. You're actually going to go first. So does it really matter what we go for? I think Ice Wind might be a bit better for us. Actually, no, we're going to go for Muddy Water. Just in case Torkoal wants to stay in here, we can do more damage. So out comes the Earth Power. You die to that Magnezone? Yeah, it is four times super effective. Hurts the soul, man. Definitely hurts the soul. And we're going to lose this match up here. Yeah, that hurts, man. Earth Power doing me so bad. Doing me so bad. I probably should have saved my Terror type, but I really wasn't expecting the Outrage to come out here and just rip into me. But there comes another outrage. We are one and one. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Look for a 2-1 winning record with this poly to a green team. Final match on its way. Look at the team that we're going up against. We're going up against a rain squad with Bash Legion and Pelipper. So rain is going to be heavily used in this battle. But they also have Paul Mott, Rabsco with a Revival Blessing, a Lolan Golem, who is such a cool Pokemon. I believe it's Electric and Rock. And they have Grafia, who is new Gen 9 Pokemon. Really good on the support side. But uh, who should I go here? Who should I lead here? I could go Tornadus and just pop Tailwind too. Alongside with the Rain, which I really like. So I'm going to end up going into him. And I might end up leading Rollboom. I definitely want to bring in Rollboom. I don't know if I want to lead Rollboom. I don't know if I want to lead Rollboom. Because what I'm thinking here is Rollboom, Basque Legion, and Magnezone. Just don't know who to lead. That's the problem. And I actually, Rollboom's not bad lead. I mean, I could take out... I can always swap out. I like it. So I'm going to end up going into all these guys. Have my big dogs in the back end with Magnetstone and Bastion Legion. If the rain gets set up, I can choose Specs Thunder. And on top of that, Wave Crash and Aqua Jet can do crazy amount of damage in the rain. And I get that double speed boost. So it's perfect. It's perfect. It's lovely. It's lovely. But I do wonder who they're going to lead. I feel like they have a lot of different options with this team. So we got to watch out for certain things. But out comes Paul Mott and a lonely goal. Such a cool build one. Paul Mott and Alolan Golem come out here. Um, Alolan Golem's looking scary. Right? It's electric. I'm almost positive. I think I can check right here. Yeah, you're rocking electric. I think I might go steel type here. <laughs> I think I might go steel here. Hmm. I was going to set up a Tailwind in. I'm just gonna try faking out the Paul Mott. Probably outspeeds me, but I don't mind it. I'm terrestrializing into the Steel Tornadus. You don't really, you don't really get to see a nice little Terra on the Tornadus, right? Not too off, but this just seems like a right situation, right? It seems solid. It seems like a solid situation. So we'll do that. He'll end up faking me out before I fake him out. And what are you going for? What are you going for, Golem? You don't really see, like, I don't really know what Golem does. Alone in Golem, at least. He's exploding. <laughs> he just exploded. So good thing I actually terrestrialized into steel. It's electric? Why is that electric? It's weird. It's weird. He must have an ability or something. Again, I don't know too much about him. And Paul Mott just ends up Volt Absorbing. Okay. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I'll get back some HP. I got Tailwind up. Sloppy Tantrum can rip up some damage into him. And Bash Legion might be the Pokemon I'm bringing out. I want the rain, but are they even going to set the rain? We're going to Magnezone. I don't really like Magnezone here. I'm going to go Bash Legion. Explosion. A little crazy. That's a little crazy, but it worked. Not going to lie, it worked. And I wasted my terror, which is perfect. But Rapska comes out here alongside with him. And what I want to actually do here is just double down to Paul Mott. He might, he's going to revive a blessing. Not even kidding with you. He's going to revive a blessing. He's going to do that, but I'm kind of fine with that. I'll deal with that later. I'll double down to you. I'm just going to get rid of the Paul Mott here. I'm not trying to deal with Paul Mott. He has revival blessing as well. They both have. What is this? <laughs> We're going up against double revival blessing. I think Rap's just gonna send it. Yeah. So he's gonna revive the Golem. He could revive the Pole Mine, actually. Hold up. 
No, oh, what up? You better knock this off. I don't like this one bit. Who did he just revive? I don't know. The name was in a different language. I don't know who he revived. He revived somebody, I'll tell you that much. Could be the golem. Let's see who he throws out. It's the golem. So golem's back in town. Golem is back in town. So from here, I'm going to go last with specs here. And I'm just going to grass the guy to try to get rid of the golem. I could wood hammer. I mean, we, we have a lot of speed, especially once it's rass lies. So I'm just going to wood hammer this slot. There's a lot of speed going right here. So the golem's back in business. He's going to go for an indoor. Indoor on the golem. Last respect's coming in hot here. Doing some big time damage. I almost came on the raps go. Wood hammer coming in higher. We're going to bring you down to 1 HP. So both these guys are pretty much on 1 HP. Let's see what Rapska ends up going for. Rapska, what you cooking up? A second. Can you soak this, Rilla? I don't think you can. You can. I love you. It's big time soak. That's a big time soak. So now we're sitting in a good position. Surprised they didn't set the rain. I didn't set the rain. I could have set it with Tornadus, but I mean, we're thriving pretty well here. Uh, from here, last your specs. Grassy Glide, probably your best bet. Yeah. I don't want to take recoil damage this turn. So we'll just do that. We'll do that. So double revival blessing and explosion alone golem. Weird combo here. What did you just eat? A kusat berry? Okay, we're still out of speed. Cool. I was going to say, you're really going to eat a kusat berry out of nowhere? Outspeed me and KO me with an explosion? That would have been absurd. That would have been absurd. But last specs come through here. Takes out the wraps, and now we're sitting in a perfect position. 3v1 situation with Magnetzone in the back end. Come on, man. This is this match is too easy. Cool combo, though. I'll give it to our opponent. I actually, I actually really like how they're using this. Revival, Blessing, and Explosion, Rolling Golem. Super cool. You don't see that at all in the rank ladder. So I give our opponent props. The final Pokemon comes out here is Grafia. And from here, nice lovely wave crash alongside a stop and catch. Him. Should, should pretty much wrap this one up. Should pretty much wrap this one up. But I think Grafia is such a good Pokemon on the rank ladder. Like, support-wise, it's so awesome. And I think that's what they should have made the meta more uh, towards. They should have made the meta more towards, like, Gen 9 Pokemon. Because by bringing in, like, Tornadus and Heatran, really just really just gave those Pokemon the, the, the spotlight. But he ends up going into a normal type here. Normal Grafia. Trying to clutch up. I've never seen a Grafia clutch. And we're not going to see it today. We might see it today. <laughs> we might see it today. Oh my lord. You just copycat me last respect me? That ain't right. That's not cool. When I lose the grassy terrain. But I got my boy out here. Nice, lovely Magnuson. I was not expecting the, the ye old copycat play. And that was looking scary. Do we have Tailwind still? No. Tailwind's gone. And... Choice in the flash cannon is your best bet. So I'll choice in the flash cannon. And if I can land a uh, wood hammer, I'd rather. I'd rather go for wood hammer. But ends up going for a copycat again. You're going for flash cannon now. And you're going for stop attention. That guy that hit the wool. That could have that would have been scary if that would have hit the hit the magnetism, right? <laughs> that would have been terrifying, but wood hammer cleans this mess up no problem. Slams down a Grafia and gives us that 2-1 winning record. There it is, 2-1 winning record on the channel. Love it. Love grabbing winning records for you guys. But this team was really, really fun. Haven't used Rain Team in a while. Got these Magnetone, Palliotoad, and Bastion Legion. And then on top of that, Tornadus, Urshfu, and Robloom. Always great Pokemon in the meta. That could do so much work and grab you guys wins at any time. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.